Hey Edward. What's going on? Nothing man just waiting here. To bomb the structures quiz. Yeah, I love getting home at 8 after recitation and then waking up to take a quiz at 7.30 the next morning too. Yeah that sucks. I bet he's going to give us 2 hours worth of work to do in 30 minutes. Hey what do you think about William LaMeshrier and the City Corp Tower case? LaMeshrier was definitely an honorable structural engineer. His actions involving the City Corp Tower were admirable. Really? How can you say that? Did you read Eugene Creamer's re-examination of the City Corp case? Do you think he complied with engineering codes of ethics? I believe he did. He gives a great example of good ethics by the way he took responsibility. He took action when he learned about the structure's flaws. This case study is presented as a positive example in engineering ethics discussions. He learned about the flaws? Really dude? It shouldn't have been a surprise to him since he gave the final approval. There is proof from Diane Hartley that he did not double check calculations. He failed to consider wind loads in every direction. He followed the building code so I don't think it's his fault. Other members of the group made the changes to the design. But he was the lead engineer. When you are creating such an innovative design it's the professional's obligation to go beyond building codes. When key design changes are proposed the decision ought to involve key persons. Okay, but he still took responsibility for fixing the mess. He did not act on self-interest. He sacrificed his reputation for the greater good. Did you know that he considered suicide in Canada before telling anyone else about design flaws? He told his colleagues to be professional and keep their trap shut. He only cared about his reputation. That shows how much he understood about ethics. He also kept the building retrofit secret from the public. He was not holding public safety above all else. That sounds good, but in the real world it's a bunch of baloney. It was not realistic to tell the public. He had to keep it a secret. There would be mass chaos if the public knew. Don't you think people have a right to make a critical decision for themselves? I think it was immoral in this situation. The public takes for granted the soundness of structures like the City Corp Tower. Maybe, but I still think it was crucial to keep secret. You can't go scaring people for just any reason. A Red Cross estimate indicated that if the building collapsed, up to 200,000 people could have lost their lives. Don't tell me that's not crucial. It would have been an even bigger scandal if the tower had failed and the public found out he was keeping secrets. Okay go on. The Board of Ethical Review said, The desire to avoid public panic is certainly a legitimate factor in deciding on a course of action but withholding critical information from thousands of individuals whose safety is compromised over a significant period of time is not a valid alternative. Okay, maybe you have a point but I'm not really convinced yet. Lameshrier had to make a tough call and I respect him for that. Okay let me ask you some basic moral tests. Do the benefits outweigh the harms short term and long term? How would you feel if you were living in Manhattan? What if all engineers behaved this way? Was his behavior up to standards of the profession? Would you feel proud of yourself when looking in the mirror? Well I believe everything was legal so it must have been moral and good. Really dude come on. Just because something is legal does not mean it's moral. Laws don't determine what is right and wrong, you idiot. What was that man? Calm down. Are you crazy? Don't do that again. Do you want a roundhouse kick to the face? Do you want to take this outside? Okay, I admit it you're right. Now leave me alone. I need to study the slope deflection method. That's okay man. We all can't be right about everything. You're such a jerk to me all the time. I don't know why I still talk to you. Well then do you think he did anything right? Well I give him credit for fixing the problem in the end. But he was dishonest throughout the whole process. He kept everything a secret for 20 years which could have advanced the knowledge of the profession. Okay man, I understand what you are saying. I think there is no right answer to this case study. Are we still friends? Here comes Rajan with his manila envelope. Good luck on the quiz. You too my amigo.